we are all very human and fallible, and yet we live in a society that rewards pretending we're not fallible, or the range of acceptable fallibility is narrow. We are constantly comparing our insides to other people's outsides and feeling inadequate and guilty, even ashamed. Trying to blend in means parts of ourselves must disappear, and we must then live in fear that we will be found out. Here, together, we will create a space where we can laugh, cry, and carry our suffering and hurts lightly. In the service of being deeply human. This is Life's Dirty Little Secrets. Hello, this is Chris McCurry, and this is Life's Dirty Little Secrets. And I'm Emma Waddington, and so excited to be kicking off our second season. This is really, really fun. We just wanted to do this brief episode to give you all a, a taste of some of the things that are coming up in season two. We're very excited about it. Yeah, really excited. And before we do that, as we were reflecting on the end of season one, we recognized that we failed to appreciate the fantastic Yael Schoenbrunn. And we feel terribly guilty about that. And although we've told her about it, we also wanted to make sure we recognize this in our first episode of season two, because it was such a fantastic podcast. And she's been such a great supporter of the work that we do. So thank you, Yael. Thank you for your generosity and your kindness, as always. And so looking ahead, we've got some interesting people lined up so far, and we'll be looking around for other topics and, and other folks to talk to. But uh, we're going to start off season two with uh, Steve Hayes, the originator of acceptance and commitment therapy. And he is going to talk about the myth of normal, or there's no such thing as normal. For all you statistical geeks out there, this will be fun. Yes. What a way to kick off the season. It was a great conversation. We've already recorded it, and I'm so excited for it to get out there because it's, it's, it really is a myth, and it is a dirty little secret that we all carry. Somehow we need to be normal um, and that somebody out there has it all figured out, so great conversation, which you will all be listening to very shortly. And then the next conversation is with Kristen Campbell on our sexual selves. As the title goes, it is a pretty bold conversation, but a really important one. Um, and another dirty little secret, obviously, everything that has to do with our sexual selves feels quite dirty. Yeah, Kristen, as always, as in our previous season, is just such a wise, warm, validating person. She leads us in the conversation, making us all feel very comfortable talking about our sexual selves. And at some point, we will have Elizabeth Lottie, who is uh, an amazing psychologist in uh, Helsinki. And she's going to be talking about the Finnish concept of sisu, or gentle power. And that will be a, a very interesting conversation. Yeah, really looking forward to that. You know, busting another myth that power needs to be harsh and strong. Instead, she's done a lot of work and has discovered that, you know, true strength can, can be kind and gentle. So really looking forward to listening to what she has to say about that. And then we will be having a conversation with Dr. Zurita, a Bolivian psychologist living in the U.S., on the downsides of perfectionism and yeah, unpacking some of the costs of the way we can you know, strive and life can get really tight for some of us when we are focused so much on outcomes. And it's highly encouraged in our communities and cultures to continue to strive. And I think some of the costs aren't always apparent and it kind of feeds into some of the conversations that we had last season that we can often get stuck in this place where we need to continue to do, 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 and that can lead to burnout. So yes, very much looking forward to that conversation and really unpacking some of those unhelpful striving that we can get into. And then I am very excited that we will have the privilege of talking with Stephen Batchelor, the uh, noted Buddhist scholar. And he will be talking about good and evil and how there is this tendency to split those and to treat the world as if it were black and white, all or none. I'm good, you're bad, that sort of thing. And how 
we really need to think of these things as less dualities and more, you know, we can we can hold both of these and hold them lightly in a way that allows us to, to live authentically and in harmony with ourselves and with one another. So that's going to be a great conversation, I know. It seems so relevant, doesn't it? And it's such a difficult place to stand in, this place where you can hold both, because we do like to think so binary. We do like to sort of put ourselves in one camp or the other at any one time. Yeah, and it feels so counterintuitive in a way that we can have both. It's going to be a great conversation and feels so relevant at the moment. The world feels very polarized. So I look forward to this wisdom. And and he's somebody that I've been learning from for probably about almost 20 years. So I can't believe I'm actually getting to meet him, even if it's virtually. It's quite quite the honor. And then we will have a, I'd say, a controversial conversation on a favorite child with Katie Palmer later on in the season. And yes, that's going to be a good conversation, I think. We tend to want to push away from that thought of having a favorite child and creating a little bit more room and shedding some light to that dirty little secret. It's going to be helpful. I only have one child, but there were times when he wasn't my favorite. (laughs) I love that. Yeah, it's a big topic of conversation in my household. And I love the fact that my kids sort of regularly change who they think the favorite child is, depending on how they're feeling. Usually how they're feeling about me, more than their siblings. <laughs> so, yes, and that's just the beginning of the season. We have a, a few more conversations to be had till the end of the year. So we will continue to shed light on life's dirty little secrets and hopefully sprinkle a little bit of compassion and openness in our community to be able to hold more lightly some of these really difficult ideas that we we have and that we often share. And I'd say that even this season, we've decided to go a little bolder with some of the dirty little secrets that we'll be discussing. It'll be, it'll be very interesting. And for all of you who have listened and and supported us. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts because it's been an amazing journey and we look forward to continuing it in the, the next few months and, and beyond, hopefully. That's right. And if anybody has an idea for the podcast, a dirty little secret that you think we should be talking about, please do send us an email or post it on Instagram on one of the comments. We'd love to hear from you. Yes. Uh, and again, you know, these are things that are little talked about, but universally held. So our common humanity. That's right. Yes, I can attest to that. So thank you again. And please tune in. That's right. We look forward to having you all for the rest of the season and beyond. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Thanks so much for tuning into the Life's Dirty Little Secrets podcast. If you have any feedback for us or secrets for future episodes, you can email us at Life's Dirty Little Secrets podcast at gmail.com. Be sure to follow us on Instagram at Life's Dirty Little Secrets or on Facebook at Life's Dirty Little Secrets podcast. We invite you to follow, rate and review us on wherever you listen to this podcast. It is the best way to get our podcast out in front of new listeners. We'll be back in a couple of weeks with more. See See you you then. then.